Cube have just entered the KD Ma podcast. Keyboard plus mouse or die. Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to episode 59 of the KB Mod Podcast. A very special episode, as I think this is the entire crew right now, right? Of uh, As of late, we've got Alex, who even decided to join us and not take a nap, with that, which, Alex, I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, it's, uh, it's 10 o'clock here, Scott, so that wouldn't be a nap, <laughs> that'd be going to bed. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't know what you crazy actors do. Uh, but it's a very special episode because we have the very um, once again. I'm going to call you special. I called Jordan special last week too. I know it like has negative. Jordan, Jordan is special in his own way. Oh, yeah, yes. that's, that's a good special, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe a good kind. Okay. The way I don't like, want to say. I don't want to say that publicly, but yeah. <laughs> we have special. seen Anders on the cast. What is going on, Adam? How you doing? Hello, hello. Now I'm going to tell you ahead of time. I'm eating dinner because yeah. you guys uh, right yeah. smack dag in the middle of dinner time. So I'm going to go ahead and mute myself when I'm chomping up. A storm. Other than that, we're good. No worries. What what uh, what is on the uh, C Nanners dinner plate tonight? Uh, curious. We got some 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 veggies. We got some chicken, mm-hmm. some potatoes, some bread, and and an apple. An apple. Don't mm-hmm. ask personal apple. questions like that. Adam likes to keep his YouTube and personal life separate. So that's true. Dinner <laughs> is a pretty personal thing. That for a gamer, that is like the most balanced up. diet you can have for dinner. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, most of us are eating hey, cheese. Hey, hot check out my dinner. <laughs> my dinner is real great. <laughs> Nick Fenton holds up Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> I had beans and a baguette. Nick Nick Fenton also oh, works on Treasure we'll Island at five in the morning. <laughs> yeah. the I got the, I got the email verification for Muppets Treasure Island today. So <laughs> probably shouldn't have ordered that at five o'clock. That's anymore. that's Amazon what a purchase, Prime, dude. That's that is a good purchase though. But yeah, all right. Well, let's let's get into what we've been playing this week because last week was a little. We had a PAX recap. Uh, but Adam, typically, what we'll do is we'll go we'll go down down the list and just talk about what is eating up our gaming time. So let's start with uh, let's just go. I'm going to go in the order of the screen that on the stream. Uh, Nick Plaid Couch, as your <laughs> as your name uh, on the screen says. What have you been up to? Uh, I haven't been playing very much. I think I put Counter Strike, and that was pretty really? much it. I tried a little bit of Guild Wars too. I'm not very far at all. I'm like level seven, and you seem upset with that game. I'm not yeah. upset. I'm not upset. Hey, it's Nick. Just not Guild. It's not Guild Wars One. Nick, remember that's, a meme I made? Like all I, that's, I don't have any feelings. Remember a meme I made about that? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> okay, I can link it in the chat later. It's pronounced anyway. May, please. Nick, do you play any Young Minecraft lately? Uh, no, dude. Uh, I I don't think people are requesting that series to come back at all. So, yeah, I haven't seen like fifty comments on your last video about it or anything. No, no. Nobody Actually, you played. It. No, you played. Uh, what is that? Halo Minecraft game you uploaded. That's today. on Xbox, but it's called. Oh, uh, so you don't talk about. I miners. said we're gaming. Nick. This I is didn't a say PC platform. Podcast. Yeah, you could say if you've been doing that. Just <laughs> well, fine, then I've been playing, playing Halo. Being I've also been playing Halo. Go. God, I'm a bad person. Are you going to get Halo Four, Nick? Uh, I already have the limited edition pre-order. Have you been I'm practicing? I'm also with a bad controller. <laughs> yeah, really poorly. I feel like yeah. an idiot. Like a layman, <laughs> or like the thumbstick is like. Ugh. I also have the small fingers, so it doesn't help at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do have the tiniest damn hands on the planet. It's always a subject. Though. It's always a talking point. You bring it up. You I did, like, that bring time. It up. That time I brought it up. When you bring it up, I think about them again, and I'm like, wow, That's, those are really small hands. It helps to think about what somebody's <laughs> talking about in a conversation. <laughs> yeah, Dan, it's it's it really is an experience to listen to you comment on someone else being small handed. Your small body. <laughs> I know. I know. My hands are bigger than Nick Fenton's. Yeah. yeah. Well, and you're so also you four go. foot nine, so Yeah. So That means you got a big old <laughs> Python penis, right? <laughs> wow. All right, Alex, what have you been playing after <laughs> clock time? You're like me when I live in Pennsylvania. Um so you were a loser? <laughs> um, calling yourself I, a loser. I'm a big loser right now. I don't have time. I think the last video game I played, it might have been 1v1-ing <laughs> Nick on Halo 2 at the Machinima offices. That might have been the last video game I played. Jeez. Okay. I, don't have enough. Wow. I don't have Let's, time. That's quick. Let's jump down to Brandon. Brandon, what about you? Um, Try and let's go. No, I actually haven't played much Tribes. played a little bit, but I uh, played a little Forge. They, uh, that's, that's been fun. Played some, and, uh, God, what else? There's, uh, I can't even remember what I played this weekend. Just Cause. 
I did. I actually didn't get time to play much oh. Just Cause. I really I wanted to, though. Again. I really wanted to. I played that. But I finally tried it. It's I amazing. Was, yeah. Mainly just. I, I mean, mainly just Forge. I was playing that a lot. Hmm. All right. I made a video. You? you could. You can go watch you it. Did yeah. Go ahead and pimp <laughs> that out right now, dude. No problem <laughs> on the cast. You have a YouTube okay. channel? Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> I do. It's brand new. YouTube.com slash NFENVIDS for all of Volition's work. <laughs> <laughs> I like how on uh, Scott's Xbox Live profile, on his motto on there is YouTube.com slash NFENVIDS because I changed I it. I watched yeah. you do that. <laughs> Shameless self-plugs, Nick. Oh, what about you, John? Right. What have you been doing? DF2 and pretty DF2. much only DF2. Play a little bit of Guild Wars 2. It's not the best game, but it's okay. I think your nostalgia is killing it. No, I, I mean, no, Guild Wars, it, it's not. Like, my, my gripe with Guild Wars is that it's, the story it's, it's part of Guild it... And, like, and, no, the MMO part of the game, it's cool. Like, the story is cool. But the problem with the leveling system is that you have to do the world events if you want to level. Like, you'll complete a personal story quest, and you'll be, like, level 19. And then the next stage requires level 22. So you have to do all the world shit for, like, six hours before you can move on in your personal story, which is kind of stupid. Because mm-hmm. I don't. What if I don't want to play with people on an MMO? What if I want to play single player MMO? Fuck That's you! True. I can't do it. So, so they've kind of gotten away from the Guild Wars One model of being able yeah. to solo shit. Yeah, I mean, you can solo stuff, but <clears throat> it's still mm-hmm. not that awesome. So I just played TF2. Did I saw, did I see you tweet that you someone bought like a hundred and fifty dollar rare hat or something from you? Yeah, I sold a <laughs> uh, Sunbeam what? Grim hat, uh, unusual Grim hat on eBay. I could have got, I could have got, I could have gotten a lot more for it, but I didn't feel like waiting for a market value. Anybody who pays one hundred and fifty dollars for pixels is a fucking retard. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, like I could have got, like, I think, I think because the uh, because Sunbeam is like a god tier effect, I could have gotten like three hundred dollars for it. But wow. if I would have sold that for three hundred dollars, I would have zero faith in humanity at this point. <laughs> so I just took, I just took that. He gave me one hundred fifty bucks, ten crate keys. Six fall crate keys, four name tag things, and some Jeez. paint. Wow. So, Bad. a game of that racket, unbelievable. Yeah. Do people That's, just do that? Do they just farm TF2 items and just sell them? You can't really farm. Yeah. Un- unusual yeah. hats come from crates, and a key, yeah, yeah, and a key yeah. to open a crate is two fifty, uh, and you have like a one in one hundred chance for each crate to have an unusual hat. So, Jeez. so you got to spend a lot of money to get them. Yeah, gotcha. That All right, Adam. Got what uh? What about you? What What's have up? you been? Uh, what have you been playing? Uh, nothing but mods. Uh, we played. Yeah. What is it? No more room in hell last night. That game is impossible. I don't know. Have any of you actually completed a mission in that game? And you played the game. I guess is the first question. I've seen. I, it. I, I think I have it downloaded. I don't think yeah. I ever played it though. It's uh. It's pretty impossible. Do you move yeah. extremely slow in that game? Or yeah. When you, it's yeah. funny because. Okay. When you watch other characters, they move like they have sticks up their asses. So they like, kind of like, Ugh! just kind of <laughs> meander down the uh, the sidewalk. Um, and some characters They're actually look more... Too. Yeah, yeah. Basically, they look more <laughs> ridiculous than others. And I, and I think there's, I think it works in such a way that if you swing too quickly or you move, you know, if you sprint too long, then you kind of get encumbered. So you just turn into like a Fallout 3 character and you can't get away. But the zombies move slowly, so it's okay. Um, that's a lot of fun, but that's frustrating. That's super frustrating because you end up just dying over and over and over again. But, of course, uh, The Hidden and then uh, Trouble and Terrorist Down. Oh, by the way, uh, Mark was saying that you guys are doing something with The Hidden or something. I don't know if that's a lie. We, or that's... Well, when it, we played it. Scott introduced us all to the mod last spring. Okay. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. we were playing it then, and, like, I don't know what's we were changed. Getting weird, like, uh, like, we were getting kicked a lot. Like, you guys don't seem to have any issues in the videos I've seen. Is it pretty... Yeah, I was, getting juiced. I was getting kicked. Uh, there was a forum that I, I looked up, and it was mm-hmm. like, hey, if you're getting kicked, do this. I can't remember exactly what I did, um, but every time I tried to join a server, it'd be like, yeah, it's working, and then you get kicked out like, yeah. straight away. Yeah. Um, that's probably what you're experiencing. Um, since the thing is like super old, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. It still kind of doesn't have much support. Well, but now there's like maybe 10 or so servers the last time we jumped on, but you can't play anymore because everyone like is trying to get on. So I think Mark's going to actually set up a server maybe by tomorrow? Um, I don't know. I mean, nice. uh, I think that yeah, uh, I was so. I was baffled that you guys could even play. Well, that was we, before it got like yeah, yeah mm. bombarded. Because we uh, 
well, last year, like we just once we hit one good night, like one or two good nights of like uh-huh. playing for a few hours, and then it just never worked again. Yeah, for it anybody, was really weird. Like correctly, I don't know if anything and, got updated. I don't think so though, because I don't think they've touched that uh, mod in but years. There are some KB mod guys yes, working updating it. Yeah. Yeah. some fans are Sweet. updating the mod. <laughs> There's a bunch of broken spawning systems and well it's a really old iteration of source at this point too well aren't so, they going to try to put it in the uh, in the go engine or the version yeah they of the, should totally do that yeah, yeah or the yeah. source so for go so that would be awesome hopefully i was saying that's such a fun game like we've been playing it, i've been playing it a while and like if there's any game that should have been picked up by valve you know what i mean and given some love like they yeah, do with yeah. other it's like that one to me is like universally fun i just don't understand why they haven't done anything with it yet but i don't know maybe who knows you guys um Excuse me, sorry, I'm like chewing food. This is so rude of me. Um, have you uh, have <laughs> you played um, Jailbreak on CS:GO? Mm. Any of you guys? Not yet. People no. tell me about it. Yeah. So we hit the zombie last night. Uh, did zombies, that. but yeah. What zombies in CS:GO? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's it called? Yeah. It's just zombie mods. Just, oh, zombie yeah, mods. there's a couple different it's ones. Insane. There's one yeah. apparently where you're running away from the zombies through an obstacle course, which I haven't played yet, <laughs> which looks kind of cool. Okay. Uh, I saw a shibby video that he did on that, and then the one we did is just kind of like traditional. Gotcha. Um, I don't know, like zombies, but yeah. cool. Chucky models, all kinds of crazy shit. The uh, amnesia oh, monster cool. is a model in it. It's pretty scary. Looks Nick like you're was uh, source, though. What's up? The mod looks like you're playing Source though. Oh it's yeah, well, well I think it's the Source would... maps and stuff like that. It just depends on the go. map. Yeah. Yeah. The the first map we played had go, some Go textures, but the rest were all Source. Yeah, it was definitely fun. It was I missed. I never played any zombies in 1.6 or Source back in the day. Nick was saying that Nick, you played a lot of it, right? You didn't yeah, even play CSS. regular Counter Strike. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's sweet. All right. Well, uh, Dan, you want to go real quick with what you're playing, and then we'll get into a little bit more scenery yeah, I mean, chatter. Pretty much, pretty much uh, <clears throat> some Forge, and uh, yeah. also uh, obviously zombies and some CS:GO. I actually played a few hours of Super Street Fighter. Uh, for when are you going pro, dude? When are you going to Evo? <laughs> <laughs> My Xbox controller is the best, dude. Yeah, it's it's terrible. I need a fight stick or something. Mm-hmm. It's really really bad, but I can't beat the computer on like easy <laughs> the whole way through. So <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, no, it's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, that's actually been about about it. Uh, yeah, I'll so. I'll go real quick. I've been playing CS:GO. I played. Me and Nick played Smite last night for a little bit. Um, got Game into that. It was incredible. I've been playing that too. I forgot. Yeah, it was that. really fun. I uh, I enjoyed it. Um, oh yeah, I did a whole stream of that last Tuesday too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that that Smite. What else? That's about it. But um, all right. So obviously, as we have Adam on the cast tonight, um, I thought it would be fun, or we thought it would be fun to uh, to pick Adam's brain a little bit. Um, all right. And for maybe for people, I mean, some people may already know this stuff, but I think a lot of people are probably interested. Let's just start from the beginning, Adam, from uh, from YouTube, and you know Ooh. how you got your start, and then actually, we'll, we'll how did your watch. parents meet? <laughs> yeah, let's start from <laughs> start at the how, very where, beginning. Where were you conceived? Like all this Thousands kind of stuff. Of you. <laughs> what were the dinosaurs like, Adam? Um, they were well, amazing. <laughs> 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 but um, yeah. yeah, like how you got started with YouTube, and then we'll kind of tailor it into because you post sure. like. You guys are posting a ton of you're posting a ton of Counter Strike mods or yep, Half Life yep. mods lately, so yeah. Let's, um, let's so away. what's the? Sure. It's been a while since I've given the uh, the old <laughs> the uh, how I got started treatment. Um, that was oh nine, I believe. Um, and then uh, hold on, I'm sorry, I'm trying to do like multiple things. Apparently, our because we have our, our televisions connected to uh, to Amazon, and I'm trying to get it to work, and it's like enter this 17 digit code. I'm like <laughs> trying to get it to work. Anyways, um, sorry, I'm like totally distracted. So. Let's focus on priorities. Uh, that was 09, uh, August 09, I believe. I think it was just for fun. I don't think there really was any... I mean, mm-hmm. three years ago, there wasn't objectives on YouTube. It was just like, oh, let's make videos. There was no, obviously, network structure. There was no monetizing your content. Um, it was simply, I think it was... I mean, the big guys were Hutch, Blame Truth, um, those type, you know, type of dudes um, doing gameplay stuff. And at the time, I was living in Temecula and had no job and no sort of um, way to preoccupy myself. So I was like, all right, well, this sounds at least, if not a job, something that I can do. Um, prior to YouTube, it was just kind of a lot of, I mean, I went to film school and, and, and I wanted to, to do something in, in the film television realm. And um, I guess I, for whatever reason, didn't connect the dots at that time. I was just like, okay, well, I'm 
not having a good time in life, so let's do something that makes me happy. And then, of course, you know, I, Call of Duty was something I played a lot. Um, I figured that, you know, it, hold on a second. This, oh, there's a new code now. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, Technology! Gonna... Yeah, Skynet's totally screwing with me right now. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, I mean, it was, it was just the pursuit of, of trying to occupy oneself. Because, you know, when you're in your early 20s, there's a lot of questions as far as, like, oh, do I want to work at Macy's or do I want to actually strive for something more? You know, obviously... My parents were very supportive, and, and uh, they knew that I wanted to do something that was creative. This just happened, and uh, the whole, I mean, I didn't even know you could, back in the, uh, it was like 9, 2009, I mean, like, who was big back in 2009? I guess all the regulars, yeah. right? Philip DeFranco's. Yeah, that's kind of what you said. Um, Raymond Johnson's, and I mean, mm-hmm. it was kind of like a foreign thing to me, but, you know, it quickly. I Lisa think it was Nova. Only, yeah, Lisa Nova. It was only like a couple yeah. months, I think, before people, like the whole gaming scene sort of took off, and then Machinima, obviously. Um, I mean, I only was in the director's program for like three months, and then I got the job at Machinima, and that was two years, um, and then I was basically doing what I was doing on my channel, Machinima with, with Hutch and Sark, and then yeah. from there, that was up until February, and now I'm just basically back on my channel doing what I originally was doing uh, two years ago, so I haven't really been, a lot of people think that I've been like in this space for a long time, but I kind of just casually uploaded stuff, like I did... I mean, obviously, Call of Duty stuff and Minecraft just sort of took off, and that was something that really helped mm, um, yeah. my channel grow. But I didn't, it was just kind of like, I'm making videos for fun, and, and it definitely, um, you know, was, was, was different back then. Obviously, it's a different beast. Um, but uh, I felt like it, it was hard. Like, there, I think a lot of people were curious, like, oh, why'd you, you know, quit working with Machinima? I think that it came down to the idea that um, I think I sort of got away from why I originally had started. My channel in the first place was, you know, I want to do stuff that, you know, is fun to me. I want to, I want to work on a project that's not based on some sort of company objective. It's not, you know, something that is for the greater good. Um, and that was kind of a very odd conversation to have where it's like, oh, you have this big entity that is your channel, but you're also here. And then you're on Respawn. It was very strange um, and very kind of like hard to, to, to narrow down um, you know, where exactly my place is. I just, but I feel like right now, like, especially like the content I'm making with the mods and uh, the type of things I'm doing, it feels more in line with, um, I started, of course, again, you you know, you're never going to get back the, you know, Oh, Hey, you know, I'm going to go play with flame truth and Hutch and it's super cool. (laughs) We're playing kids together. We're never going to get back there. Yeah. But for the most part, I think Hmm. the, the new, um, state of things is to get a group of guys together, um, have fun and, and try to sort of rekindle, even though, you really can't. I mean, once it hits a point and, and, and people are buying, you know, houses and cars and hopefully not <laughs> sea dues anytime soon, um, it, it definitely kind of it does change things. And you guys know all about yeah. this. You guys have been around for like forever. Um, but yeah. my story was, was to long story short, started for fun. Um, it seemed like something I want to be a part of. And then three years later, I still am. And I hope that, you know, just kind of keeps continuing in a nutshell. Yeah, that was good. That was a good summation. Oh, I yeah, was simple. Yeah, yeah. I I was gonna say too. I don't know. You guys can interject whatever, but interject, interject. I just wanted to fucking get famous. Thank you. Interject. I want to get interject him. I want to interject him. But uh, <laughs> no, my question. So you started out obviously doing uh, stuff like Call of Duty stuff. You did stuff with World at War too. When mm-hmm. did the the transition? Obviously with Minecraft when that started blowing up on the PC side. But it seems um, like now that's yeah. pretty much your the PC is your bread and butter. As far as posting, I guess you probably do a mix of stuff still, but yeah. what uh, what was the transition? Was that Minecraft that started that, or you can talk a little about I that? Think it, well, I mean, as much as you guys don't want to hear this, I was on a Mac to play Minecraft. <laughs> like, all the yeah. videos, all the original Minecraft videos were all capped on a Mac, so, whoops. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think hey, well, how about we came... talk about who got you into PC gaming? <laughs> I knew you were going to say it. <laughs> there we go, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, let's yeah. talk about it. I was like, he's going to say something right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was, um, I mean, it was, it was originally... Minecraft, and then from there, I don't know exactly what I wanted to play. Like, I don't know the reasoning behind getting the PC. I'm trying to think of what game was out that I really wanted to play. Um, let me see. Yeah, I don't think it was it's about that. worldly think... calling to, to come to the PC was, just out of empowerment. And, yeah. It was probably Modern Warfare 3, though. It was. I think <laughs> I think when we talked at him, it was more about, like, speed and the, and the PC and the cost. Yeah. Because back at, yeah. back at that point, you know, it was still before money wasn't an issue for a lot of people and you were looking for, you know, a decent value that was going to last you for an extended period of time. And a Mac is clearly not that. 
No. <laughs> so. That's good for a lot of things. It's just not good for gaming, of course. I mean, yeah, Minecraft. For people that have a budget. Yeah. You don't want to pay like $3,000 for a laptop. <laughs> Basically. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, once, so then as you've been getting into the worlds of mods and stuff like that, has, has the piece, we won't, we won't, we don't have to get into a console or platform war right now. <laughs> But I, I yeah. mean, just judge Stream from chat content is and where you spend right most now, of so. your time, which seems to be on Steam recently. Yeah. It seems to me that you kind of uh, you're a pretty big fan of the whole PC gaming thing, which is which is exciting. Yeah, I think but, that you could do more. That's the thing. I, yeah. I think that like, yeah. I, I think what it comes down to. I mean, especially with the mods. I mean, the mods are the m- more entertaining nights. I think that I don't even like. I'm thinking about like I was really excited for like Borderlands Two. I'm like, yeah, Borderlands Two. And now I'm like. I just want to play like uh, you know something something random. Like I want to just jump into something I know nothing about. Um, it's like going to a movie and not watching the trailer. You're just like, what is this? Okay, let's have fun. Um, that definitely is, you know, like where my focus is nowadays. Hmm. Interesting. Scott wants That's- us to interject with questions, and I want to get off. Yeah, well, I'm talking. I'm doing all the questions, in- so <laughs> go, go ahead. <laughs> People just like Brandon's drinking a Slurpee over there. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> well, I got a question. Adam, how did you feel uh, about Scott Fisher when you went over to his place and uh-huh. he offered oh, you my, a uh, plastic pink goblet? <laughs> yeah. No, it was, it was an ice fun. cream bowl. <laughs> yeah, it was like... <laughs> <bowl. laughs> you're like, I'm like, do you have any glasses? You were actually in Vaughn's or Ralph's or what it was. You were like, I think we should purchase... Like, you were stressing yeah. out about the fact that yeah. we didn't have glasses. Yes. I didn't Did realize it was... Guys, multiple yeah. times for not having yeah. glasses. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a plastic goblet. It was like <laughs> it was, it was like, amazing. Yeah, it was like an Indiana Jones cup, but like yeah. purplish pink. And like I was like, okay, I guess I'll just use this. Um, yeah, that was an experience. That that definitely padded my life experience for sure. You probably never felt that classy before drinking wine. Is my no. guess. So I don't think classy. Really no, really that's up. bullshit. <laughs> we drank wine out of plastic cups in a hotel that's true. room. That's true. Mm, yeah, okay. but there's just there's something about an ice cream yeah. cup. Something you know, that's. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> got an edge to it. Yeah, it I'm actually really gonna get it right now, actually, for the stream. Well, you guys carry on. It brings out the oaky flavors that you're really looking for. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really swish around. Nick Nick makes his own wine. Well, no, I don't. I don't. Know if you knew. <laughs> what is yeah, it? Toilet yeah. wine? Well, well it's called ass wine. That's what you I went me. I went to a winery tour yesterday, Adam, and it was located inside of a Tuscan castle. Whoa, a castle? Um, it was called Casa de Amarillo or something like that. It's in Napa Valley. Yeah. And um, I bought two bottles of wine there that were a lot of money. They only they only make uh, it sounds like a lot to people who don't know anything, but you yeah, probably there know. It is. They make they <laughs> make five <laughs> they, they only make five thousand barrels of wine a year. Oh wow. Which is nothing <laughs> for like a winery. So they, they yeah. take that's like good, a weekend yeah man. they take pretty good care of it it was pretty good wine it was a huh. bit expensive but it was a good time that's all right it's all right not too shabby no all right well <laughs> so <laughs> madam tell them tell them who got you into pc gaming real quick ask you guys <laughs> can i can we do multiple choice yeah okay so <laughs> no. how, how did you guys start i'm sure you guys have told this story but i don't know the story of how you guys started just kb mod as a whole huh? or um mm-hmm. Basically, about last May, we were like, really, well, what's really funny is we don't really post any news anymore, So, but that was kind of the start. Um, basically, Brandon and Bob, who does a lot of our behind-the-scenes stuff, uh, and I were like, I don't like any outlet for news for PC. I don't, I don't like any of them. So we were like, well, let's start our own then <laughs> <laughs> on the blog and hope for the best. Ta-da. Like, it, we had no sort of plan in place at the time but then we uh i was already friends with john i've been friends with john and brandon for a really really long time and uh we basically john sort of tweeted us out and got us started with some people and then we just started on blogger and uh went from there and then we uh moved to the new site last november and we did the uh, extra life charity last year and that kind of blew us up a lot but we picked up people along the way and uh we all actually just game together really is what it was first um i don't know how nick fenton got hooked up with this that was, <laughs> i don't know how that actually <laughs> happened but <laughs> you looks like i don't know either nick's like what the hell i, I, have, I up have a really big conspiracy that nick is the biggest fanboy in the world 
<laughs> and he's just been slowly climbing the ranks of climbing people. Climbing the that ranks he's of everything. Know. Before you know it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just joined the vent server one day. I was like, hey, guys, how you doing? Uh, I'm just going to join you now. And then that was it. From my, yeah, the fit. from my perspective, that's basically what happened. I don't know what you're doing here. <laughs> yeah. Brandon came no on one, one day. No one okayed your inclusion with Brandon. <laughs> but the podcast started, what was it? It was, uh, oh, wow, Nick <laughs> Fenton's piece. Uh, <laughs> oh, Nick. Uh, uh, Podcast was originally me and John and Alex and Scott, and it was actually Scott's idea originally, because mm-hmm. because he had just replaced Hutch for the first time. Mm, yeah, mm-hmm. you ain't Chris, baby. <laughs> and then uh, not effectively killed that future. podcast for any future yeah. episodes. Would you do two, and then it was dead. One, one, one. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Bite. we figured respawn would follow the same path, yeah. but so far it's been going well. It's kicking. Um, <laughs> But yeah, and then uh, we had the Trout ninety one on our first. Was it the first episode we had Trout on? Yeah, yeah I think so. Chavs. I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think it was the first. So, and then it just kind of rolled from there, and um, yeah, started getting you know, developers and now on. We do, which is now nice. we do three and a half billion page views a month, so it's good. Three and a, three and a half billion, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's nice. We're pretty much Google. <laughs> <what you're> <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, we just. We have fun with it, but it's been cool getting to have developers and uh, YouTubers alike on. So, like when Jared was when Jared was first uh, first on, he was the first dev we ever had on. Jared, mm-hmm. and uh, that was actually extremely good luck because we were like, "Oh, he'll come on and do an interview," because this is what we're used to from listening to like other gaming podcasts. Mm-hmm. Nope, he wanted to stay on for the whole two hours, do the news, do everything. Even after I called him Jared Gertson like 20 times. Jared Gertson. Jared Gertson. <laughs> Gertson. The thing about Jared is that he will answer the most vulgar, foul questions from chat. That's, he just doesn't care. That's what, true. Uh, how he many does. months ago was that? A long. Uh, like, October. It was first week of Blacklight closed beta. Cause oh. I, I randomly got a key and was like, I'd never heard of the game at all. Yeah. And I was like, wow, this is actually pretty good. And yeah. we're like, I haven't heard of these guys. Let's talk to them. <laughs> so, and he was like, "Yeah, I'll do, I'll do podcast." <laughs> About sixteen episodes in, random guys on the <laughs> internet. What's up? <laughs> yeah. So, and now we've all beveraged with him on numerous occasions. Yes, yeah. and it hurts. Too- it hurts so much every time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always, we're always so- paying for it in the morning. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, and now Jared has always his own KB mod shirt. Yeah. Jared has his own shirt with his face on. He does have his own he shirt. Does. That's <laughs> Wait, a KB, a KB Mod shirt? Yeah. Go to our yeah. store. There's a shirt with Jared's face on it. All right. One second. <laughs> and it says, fuck KB Mod as the hashtag. There's a merch merch link on KBMod.com. But, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much our side of things. Merch. Yeah. That was good to rehash that a little bit. Give a, it was, yeah. actually. Look at Nanners facilitating a pair of old <laughs> memories. Oh, hold on, I'm looking up your inventory. I can't click on anything. What the crap? You gotta click on the shirt. I'm clicking on the shirt. Now it's happening. Uh, Bob, what'd you do? Oh, you're, getting, you're getting docs, dude. No, no. Docs. Docs. <laughs> docs. <laughs> oh, no, there we go. Wait. Uh, the Jared Beard. Now, where is that? Wow, the site is really slow. Or we're just getting pounded. One of the two. Yeah, I love getting pounded. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> I'll just link it in the chat. There you go. <laughs> Definitely getting pounded. Hold on. Yeah. Website crash. I blame Bob, dude. I blame Bob completely. <laughs> he can't do anything right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, well, mm-hmm. that was a bit harsh. Well, you're going to have to deal with it. You live in Pittsburgh with him. I, I can say things, and I'm That's safe true. in California. That's true. So, uh, if, you, if you know Bob and you still think you're safe anywhere in the <laughs> That's world, true. Just make it mad. Yeah. That's really foolish. So, all right, guys. So, we relive some memories, Boom. some past memories. And, uh, we're going to take a quick break and then come back with some news, uh, which I'm going to cut some out. But, yeah. All right. All right we'll be back in a minute. Well, you have Don't commercials. Gross. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, we have commercials. Dude, this Sweet. is super professional production right here. Yeah, and Scott doesn't edit them out. I don't because yeah. there's gold. Yeah. He likes the, the banter. Breaks. I like he likes the, the commercial. People want the real un- the banter. Cut. Half the first banter, because I have to edit the YouTube video, half the first commercial banter is just talking about how Scott won't cut won't the cut commercial the- stuff. <laughs> just fucking cut the banter. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, Nikon's can edit again this week, I think, so he can cut whatever. Yeah, he he's good. But he's not in the hospital or on a jet ski or <laughs> one of. The- Wait, he has a jet ski. Does it? No, he has like a boat, dude. Dude, he only oh, lives like, like an hour from me. Nikon, you want to be friends, man? <laughs> no, John wants Wait, to because you weren't. The dude's, the dude's name is Nikon, like like hackers Nikon, <laughs> like Nikon Lord, Punch, Lord Nikon, Nikon Punch. He's a big uh, camera camera dude. Yeah, that's uh, just he just goes by. That's his. his uh, he's also he, a he hacker. works in radio, so he he's edits also, our. I say he's a hacker. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, sweet. <laughs> You're taking me off the grid right now. <laughs> <laughs> Trashing our rides. Yeah. <laughs> got a rollerblade through the streets. Let him know. How you get around, man. <laughs> are, are you cutting right, some of this news, Dan? We now interrupt your scheduled programming to bring you an urgent broadcast from the front lines of America. So the first piece of news, I'm actually super excited because I watched a trillion videos of this game. <laughs> and uh, I'm so excited because it looks awesome. Trials Evolution Gold Edition is coming to PC. This is awesome. So I don't know if any of you guys have played it on Xbox Live, but... Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, it was good. It's a game yeah. too. Mm. Well, no, but it's awesome. Looking. The thing that's amazing about <laughs> that is the uh, the the custom, custom yeah levels that people make. I mean, just insanity, dude. So many good ones. One of the best yeah, I ever was saw was the Terminator motorcycle chase scene, uh, like the full thing, just perfectly done. I don't know how people fucking do it. So well, there's a awesome. bunch. Like I watched all there's of so Mark, many. all Sham No Wow's videos of it because yeah. they're. Stare because he plays only like completely wacky custom ones, and there's one where you can oh. you don't even have a bike. You just use the physics of the of your guy to get through the track, and like you drown it basically underwater, and then he flies up in the air. And there's an amnesia map which is first person, and like it's it's crazy. But I'm glad it's coming to PC. Um, Didn't trials was, start as a web based thing? I think it did. I want to the way so. it plays. It looks like Happy Wheels not done in flash basically <laughs> um but uh ubisoft is publishing it yay uh, Sweet. so 120 newly optimized and enhanced tracks they're publishing oh. it so that means you can only play it in each individual web browser at one time <laughs> <laughs> so all the content from trials hd will be in it as well 120 so. new drms as well <laughs> hey we'll get to that we'll get we to are good yeah actually we have yeah. some repentance. So Ubisoft is just going to dominate the news here. So this next one up, I don't know if you guys have seen or heard of this game, but it's going to be Ubisoft's first free-to-play game. It's called uh, Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. <laughs> is that and really the name of this game? Yeah, yeah it's the name according, of the game. According to Ubisoft, all their PC games are free-to-play. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> they're all just pirated. Every pirates. single <laughs> copy is pirated. They've never made a dollar <laughs> off a <their> game. <laughs> yeah. So... But what this is, is you create the dungeon for the adventurers to get through. So it's it's like the opposite of World of Warcraft. Um, but you get experience for stopping them, kind of, is, is how it's going to work. Mm. Uh, but it Wait, works on a... Already, um, isn't there already a game like that? It's called, like... Um, it's probably. It's a, a Paradox as a game. It's like Dungeon something. And that's the mm-hmm. same thing. You have the adventurers, and they go through... And then, like, you have, like, you're the dungeon master, and you, like, put down traps and put down enemies. It's, like, it's basically the same thing, yeah? Have you guys seen that? What's yeah. it called? Uh, dungeon have, something. I can't dungeon remember. Dungeon Defenders? Yeah. Is that what you're talking no. about? No. No, it's, this is, this is, this is an actual... reverse Dungeon Defenders, right. essentially. Right. Yeah, it's the um, same game. <laughs> yeah. uh, and dungeon Land. That's what it is. But, yeah, you, you get, well, like Dungeon Defenders and uh, Orcs Must Die, you have, like, a certain amount of stuff you mm-hmm. can put towards enemies or traps and like you could spawn a big boss guy but that's going to be like all your points kind of for that room and so you basically try to just set up rooms to stop stop the adventurers but it's going to be free to play um we would have pirated it anyway uh can i just say that that is that is the worst name for a game <laughs> mighty quest for epic loot that sounds like a code name like that's what they call it on the first day when they had an idea <laughs> yeah <laughs> Project, project, mighty quest. I give them points for trying to be like, look, we don't give a shit. Look at this name. It's clever. It's so mad. It's so mad. I mean, look, shoot mania. Shoot mania is also a terrible name. Shoot mania is terrible. (laughs) Terrible name. At least it's only a few syllables. Yeah, Yeah, that's true. (laughs) Probably shouldn't make your game's name a sentence. (laughs) (laughs) It sounds like they based it off like someone's. 
PhD fucking term paper or something. (laughs) (laughs) So, like I said, Ubisoft going to dominate the early news here. Yeah, yeah. So, next up, uh, Ubisoft, who, as we just made fun of, said that we, uh, you know, PC Pirates, 95% of their games, all that stuff. So, within a week of that story coming out, which I think we talked about that last week. Yeah. Um, Rock, Paper, Shotgun, who pull no punches and give no fucks, um, <laughs> got Ubisoft to actually come for an interview um, and basically just shit on them a bunch. Like, in a polite way, though. <laughs> uh, every single answer in this interview, well, basically it comes down to Ubisoft is dropping all their DRM. You'll have a one-time online activation, and that's it. Which, if you've played with Uplay and everything else, it's Obviously, we've talked about it enough. It's a pain in the ass, but basically, every single answer in this rock paper shotgun interview is PR. All of it. it. So it's painful to <laughs> read through these answers, and and to their credit, RPS like completely demolishes them and really puts them on the spot with these questions. And they try to sidestep everything, but they, I mean, if you read between the lines, they pretty much admit that the whole thing was a mistake. And and the one thing yep. that they do yeah. admit is that. They they do admit that it's been damaging to their argument, like their piracy argument, to never actually release any hard data. So they did at least admit that, which obviously we all know is true. But it's nice to hear them actually finally say it after, what, years of, of just complete tone-deaf responses. Yeah. Yeah. So, like... The first question they asked him was, you know, about that, about uh, Yves Guillaume saying uh, Ubisoft's piracy rates are 90-95%, hence, hence the move toward online gaming. But in July last year, your DRM was described as being a success and showing a clear reduction in piracy. Can you talk about how those two statements square up? So every question is like this, though. Every question is basically like completely paints them into a corner, yeah. which is awesome. And they say, with regard to the numbers, the numbers are coming from both internal and external research. Like, that's as clear as they get. But <laughs> I love when they say things like, that was an unfortunate comment. That is, <laughs> that is, the, that is the top of, like, PR speak. Like, you're not yeah, willing to yeah. really call the person out. You're just like, that was an unfortunate comment. Like this one, that's excellent news. Do you have any regrets about the Always On DRM that you had been using? We've listened to feedback. We will continue to listen to feedback. We will continue to make sure that we deliver great games and great services and are now operating under this this policy. See, they don't actually <laughs> answer the question. They just say something. Ubisoft is run by alien robots. We will listen to feedback. We will do best to do better. They're the worst. <laughs> no, that's pretty much every answer. <laughs> hey but i mean like, said, like you said it's good to get a moderate at least acknowledgement like you're saying brandon of them being like and it's, it's just it's, it didn't work it's gonna be gone though that's the important yeah, thing yeah like, you're not gonna have to deal with it anymore so people who did and i'm one of them people who just didn't buy their games on pc um i would say it'd be okay probably now with that you won't be annoyed at least yeah just blog it is good once. yeah i mean literally so, I've, I've abstained from purchasing their games just because of that even like this past steam sale i think what was it, Brotherhood, or one of the Assassin's Creed? I really Creed wish was, I would have gotten that now. One of the Assassin's <laughs> Creed games was like ten bucks, and I thought about buying it. Literally, the only reason I didn't was like, you know what? I probably won't get much time to play it, and I just, I really don't want to support them because of their, because of their, uh, their DRM. But the nice thing is, they at least did agree to this interview. I mean, usually they're just completely silent and they just say dumb things. So at least they finally did an interview with RPS, and you know, like like you said, the right. the end the end of all this is that Ubisoft apparently has learned a little bit, and they're gonna they're gonna take the always on DRM off. And I think uh, the way it sounded, it sounds like that applies to all their current games and future games. Like they're not enforcing yeah. the always on. Uh, connection stuff for their current games too. So good news all around. That yeah, there yeah. was a little uh, debate on whether or not UPlay was actually going to be gone, but I think it is because that's like that's a big part of you have to be on that to play. So yeah. oh god, you play. Real- uh, I love you play. I can I can get achievements in that I will un- unlock downloadable wallpapers for my desktop. <laughs> that's a great what an incentive because I can't go to Google Images. Nope. 
to get the same ones. Yeah. Uh, so now we're on to John's favorite product of the year. John loves it. Um, <clears throat> the Razor Blade R2 is coming out. Uh, if you want to spend an exorbitant amount of money on a somewhat underpowered laptop with a cool touchscreen, this is the one for you. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's got a uh, GeForce GT 550, 555M now, and uh, it's now $300 cheaper, actually. It's $2,500 now, and it's got a 640M in it and an Ivy Bridge quad core. So I will admit, M for twenty five hundred dollars, that is ludicrous. <laughs> wasn't I will admit it looked really sexy at PAX. Wasn't yeah, the first great. one a <laughs> fucking product? Really and the functionality, like they have some really cool functionality, like the little touch screen that can like play a YouTube video. It's not important mm-hmm. at all, but it's it's cool functionality, you know. And they yeah. have they have a lot of really great features that I think they overvalue in regards to performance, and that's why the price. That's is the so thing. High. Listen, you're marketing this to hardcore gamers. Not like no hardcore gamer is going to use a touchpad, right? right. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. All right, dude. You know yeah. how big the iOS market is for huge <laughs> FPS players. I, you don't understand, okay. man. I have I have the first. I don't have the um the the second one, but uh the first thing I did with my my touchpad is I changed it to kittens. I was like that was the first thing <laughs> like when I opened it up, installed the things I need to install, mm-hmm. and I went on my browser and I just looked up kittens and I changed my trackpad to kittens. I cannot tell you how happy that made me. It made me so happy to know that my trackpad was two adorable kittens and they were just staring at me. Mm. Again, I'm, I'm basically telling you I'm not a hardcore gamer, but it is heartwarming for me nonetheless. <laughs> there you go. It's- I think I think the blade. We've said this before with the, when the first one got announced. I think the blade would be really good if it was like twelve hundred bucks. No, no, no. I would say even like two grand. Like if it was just a Yeah. I could I could understand some sort of premium for the touchpad. I like I still wouldn't buy it. But twenty five hundred dollars like with a with a GT six forty M, like that's a thousand dollar PC in terms of components. You can't charge a fifteen hundred dollar premium and expect it to sell. Mm. Well it did revolutionize is, the, is there a price <laughs> drop in this new one, right? Three hundred. <laughs> 300? 300 bucks. Yeah. Right. Okay. How much Thanks is the for listening, Scott? What right. was that? How much, how much is the old one? Like the original? 2800. 28. Wait, yeah. so the, the older one is more expensive? Yeah. Well, no, when they came out. I don't know if it's still. No, I mean, I think, yeah, well, I think of... the new one replaces the old one. So there's a price oh, drop okay. on the new version. Kind of like the MacBooks. Okay. Oh, okay. So there's. Okay. Gotcha. 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 Yeah. Oh, God. Razor.com is not a site. Don't go there. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, well, now I have to go there. Uh, I'm curious, too. Okay. It's Razor.com. It's just, just searching just N10 on Google it. Images. Yeah. Oh, so the last just... piece of news before. Uh, I explained to Adam how the show works a little before, but he'll, be, he'll feel right at home in the Twitter section oh, for yeah. being on Inbox. Okay. So, um, but. <laughs> Uh, last last story here is something that's really cool, uh, especially all the videos that I've seen of this are so cool. And I was saying in the pre-show, I'm building a, a little HT PC that my wife's going to use, and we're going to put it on the on the TV upstairs. And Steam Big Picture is cool. Are you, you going to really do dual comms on Minecraft with your wife? <laughs> <laughs> you should. Um, I should. Call it should. Wifecraft, and it'll get millions of views. Yeah, dude. Oh, I'll be rich in no Wifecraft. time. Um, <laughs> but no. Uh, what if a face cam of her making a sandwich, dude? Like, you'll never yeah, have to dude. work again. <laughs> but uh, Clayman90, Recky, uh, who puts out like basically just gameplay videos, but he put out a video of it in action. Mm. Valve, just they just know what they're doing. <laughs> That's all there is to it. I mean... That thing is so nice on a on a big format screen like that, and uh, the even the way the typing is, I don't know why like Xbox or PlayStation didn't think of this before, or I, I mean I don't I don't think Valve invented this. I was reading some articles, but what you do is with the left stick, you can like uh, move to sets of letters, so you're not moving through like a whole. Um, thing you can actually type pretty you can actually type pretty well so if you left stick to like it's a group of four and they all correspond to the buttons on the uh Mm. the uh like x y and a b buttons and uh so it's pretty cool but i don't know i don't know how useful it is yeah i literally don't care at all but (laughs) 
for someone with a home theater PC, it's useful. But how many people play on their TV? Like the ginger know, I box? Think, I, I think there's like, probably a lot of people. I mean, I don't know how hardcore you could really consider it. But did Mark play on his TV for a while? I thought he did for some reason. I think there are some people that they like the lean back type experience. And I guess yeah. if you're playing games that um, that work well with a controller, you know, I mean, especially like like with you know a lot of apartment setups and stuff, your living room TV will be like right behind where your PC is. So you could run a HDMI cable, you know, through the wall, and so it's not like people would really have to do that much. Um, you just hook up your gaming PC to your TV. I mean, it it seems pretty cool. I know some people were looking forward to this. Um, makes me want to try it, like try it with my PC. But then I don't really want to do that that much effort. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll, let I'll just do it with it. my tablet just I'll to do. see what it's like, like what the mm-hmm. interface is like. I will be doing it because there's, I mean, it's made for that size of a display, so there's no reason to use regular Steam if I can use that instead. I but, just, I just yeah, feel like the Steam is kind of trying to, uh, the, you know, they they're now doing the, um, you know, applications and non-gaming applications, and now big pictures coming out. Like Steam is really trying to make kind of an ecosystem play to be on all your screens, which I uh, I fully support. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be on the Oya. Oh, yeah. That's how tyranny starts, Brandon. So you shouldn't let them take <laughs> o- take over your household. A tyranny starts with Gabe Newell. Sign me up. Mm. Yeah, I'm down. I thought he'd be my tyrant. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That was the news section. We did cut it back a little bit. The new PC build guides are on the site right now, though. Um, oh, yeah, we didn't talk build guides, changes, but, but yeah, not much changed. Not much changed, so... Uh, well, actually, gonna move the, start, the starter build changed. Go, go look at them. It's really good. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> go, go look at them. What look a, at them. They're what really a pitch. good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I didn't know if you were going to talk about them or not. You seemed like you wanted to you oh, wanted I, to move I, I on. Oh, I got rid so. of them. Cause, yeah. Well, that's anyway. fine. Fine. That's okay. I, that's not like I put any work into that. Bro, <laughs> calm down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> right. So, uh, we're going to take a quick break, guys, and then we're going to move into the Twitter section, which, good God, people. What have you done to us this time? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, that's the most menacing cut to commercial. I don't know. <laughs> you will all Dude, die. So- what have you done? Uh, we'll add in some good ones. <laughs> what have you done to the darkness? <laughs> what have you done to Rachel in the Twitter questions? <laughs> Friend, you were wake you were, uh, up. Where are the dead <laughs> yeah. yeah, sorry. About that. I, figured, I figured out it was because you didn't respond for like three seconds. Yeah, it was. I was grimacing for I, a bit. There. I have a question. Why are all the uh, the YouTube uh, videos locked in at a certain view count? A uh, view counter is just broken. Yeah, just, it's just okay. broken. It's just no, broken. No, that happen often. That's the first time I've ever seen. Like I know, it's, like initially. it's like the first time I've seen it this bad in like. Oh, uh, okay. It it's been like six, in seven in months since it's been this bad, but it happened before. Yeah. yeah. Just I just figured my videos. videos weren't getting any views. No, it's like it's like weird numbers. It's like one video is like seventeen thousand two hundred fifty-five. <laughs> They're getting like, really oh. random stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like three hundred one is like the one that yeah, always three hundred one stays or three hundred three, one of the two. But this is like interesting. I was like, I didn't know. Three hundred three is my favorite musician group. <laughs> <laughs> so three hundred three. Three hundred three. Anyway. Throw up the hand sign with your tiny hands. <laughs> your hands are adorable. Look at those sticks back up. Do you want do you want my hands on your razor touchpad? Oh, look at yeah. that. Like your hand is a touchpad, basically. You are you have two kittens right in front of you, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. Nice. Kittens would probably so. be more useful. I can't even palm a miniature basketball. <laughs> Can you palm a baseball? I can, <laughs> actually. I can palm a miniature basketball. I have to, like, focus it, though. I'm like, <laughs> fingers extend. What, do you have the force? What are you focusing? Like, you have, you, you have, <laughs> you can't just, like, grab it, like, kind of autopilot your brain. Like, when you grab something, like, I have to think about grabbing a miniature basketball. <laughs> Apparently, Scott really <laughs> enjoys this. Your life is so tragic, dude. First, the lobster. Look at this. Look at this cup. Look at this cup. It's like, it goes halfway. That's <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the fringe of dropping this this so, glass. Oh, look at him. this. I can barely hold my chapstick. I can barely hold it. 
your chest. And now it's time for Twitter questions with the KB Mod Podcast. So moving on to Twitter, which has some quite good ones this week, I must say. Uh, so we'll start with this first one here. Um, at Lebo5 asks, is that the real C Nanners or did APL already replace him? <laughs> Replacement <laughs> jokes. I haven't heard those before. And Scott's- you're going to actually ask me a question, Lebo. How about you spell my name right? You <laughs> fucking idiot. Yeah, you got it. With name. a C. With a C? Come on now, dude. That's a little. <laughs> the next <laughs> one's even better. I'm going to roll into that, Mr. Wicked Rhyme. <laughs> How you met Mark and Jay Horden? <laughs> Jay Horden. I love Jay Horden. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's a question on all of Nick's videos. And the videos. fact that he said Jordan and not Jarden, that's a little upsetting. Yeah, you got you to get it right. Uh, it's, Merc, it's Merc and Jarden. First we two questions find out how complete Sanders failures by complete idiots. Moving on. <laughs> all right. Screw it. We're not even answering those. Right. <laughs> I <laughs> love Lebo. Still, He's a nice kid. It's just a weird, Fuck weird oh. country. Uh, at Anion, I think that's how you pronounce his name, asks, Kill Fuck Mary, Tony the Tiger... Jim Carrey or Queen Latifah? <laughs> Who wants to go first? Wait, what? Say what again? a random. Kill Fuck Mary, Tony the Tiger, Jim Carrey, Queen Latifah. Oh, All right, I'd, I'd fuck Tony the Tiger because, <laughs> let's be honest, you gotta do bestiality one. <laughs> one. <laughs> Is he like. He's not like. He's like a humanoid like tiger. A animal, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's a good transition into real tiger. bestiality. Yeah, it's 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 the gateway, <laughs> it's the gateway. bestiality. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Tony. It's like the older bestiality. It's like I just want to piss my parents off by fucking an animal, but I don't really want to fucking an animal. <laughs> and then, and, and I would marry Jim Carrey. Yeah. I married Jim Carrey because one, he's Canadian, and two, he's just he's just a, a solid, entertaining dude. And I would kill Queen the Tifa because. Uh, jellyfish. Because you're racist. That's all I'll say. Because you're racist. <laughs> yeah, it's racist, dude. Wow. Yeah. Jellyfish. Who's it rears here? its ugly head on yeah, the yeah. KB mob. Who fell asleep? Who fell asleep during the Sphere, Nick? Who fell asleep during the Sphere? I fell asleep during Sphere. I'm sorry. You were a horrible <laughs> person. I, I will never forgive you for that. Me and Alex will never forgive you. Sphere is a solid film. Sphere is a good movie, and it's an even better book. And Nick read the book and couldn't even finish. I didn't read. The, I have never read uh, Sphere. Well, either Sphere is an excellent book. But Nick can read. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, th- I use pop-up books. What would I do? Tony the Tiger, Jim Carrey. God, I'm definitely killing Queen Queen Latifah. There's no really, one. really. I'm def- <laughs> oh hell no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just felt like that needed oh, to be God. done. What is that movie where she's skiing? They're skiing, and uh, I know what you're talking about. I know. I- I've seen that movie, and I feel bad for knowing what you're talking about. It's so horrible. I feel so bad it's as a so human bad. being. Someone in the chat, please tell me. It's like an awful romantic comedy. Oh, I can't think of I the name. I don't know why I've seen that. Either way. Tyler Perry Last movie. Holiday. Last, Last, Last Holiday, holiday for Face God Swag 420XX. Oh, Thank God. you, sir. Of all the people to answer to know what that is, it's <laughs> it's XX Base God Swag 420XX. <laughs> Very strong. He's on top of his Queen Latifah films. <laughs> Um, Love how Chaz is just like it's fucking awful. <laughs> to it, it's a fucking awful movie. Yeah. Uh, I'd kill. I'd right. kill Jim Carrey. Why? I don't like what? him. I don't oh. like his face. That's great, dude. Oh, wow. dude. Whoa. I'd marry. I'd marry Queen Latifah because I think we would get along well together. <laughs> we have. I agree with that. You seem like that's the choice <laughs> you would make. <laughs> I'm actually with Nick on this one. Really? I'd marry Queen, Queen Latifah. Latifah. He's rich as yeah. fuck. Yeah, dude. Tony the Tiger's a fictional character. Yeah. Jim Carrey's that shit insane. That's your choice. And, and Queen Latifah. You know she's she a thick bitch. I, I like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she's thick. She's thick. She, Look at her. She's thick. She is. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm moving well, on. Yeah, let's, let's keep <laughs> At, at Super Freak asks, whose beard would you rather motorboat, Nanners or Scott? Mm. Nanners. Think this Nanners no brain. won't get engulfed by, I don't know, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'd get lost inside Scott's Adam's head. Adam's beard's well maintained. He yeah. probably, no, no, no. yeah, probably conditioned oh, that shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So my, my, my beard, my facial hair is actually uh, it's like pokier. It's, it's, it's smaller hairs. Mm. Scott's, at least, it's like it's soft. 
If you rub against this, it's no, like no, it's sand not. Paper. It's not. It's not soft. It's very you coarse. Are... I've I felt it. <laughs> No, it is cool. not that no. coarse. No, you have, I'm gonna go with uh, Scott, man. That's Scott. That you can well, well, you, you you really can't motorboat yourself, Adam. So that's, that's true. <laughs> you're kind of defaulted to answering is to Scott. <laughs> yeah, yeah you and I would motorboat it off yourself. There you go. I mean, that would be yeah, it'd be mutual. I don't want to be sucked into though. the Jumanji beard over here. It'll take me for like 30 years. I'll come back as Robin Williams. <laughs> The Jumanji beard. Oh my wow. <laughs> I do sometimes hear like this really weird drum beat inside of my beard. It always is terrifying. <laughs> Peter! <laughs> Duty! 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 It might be Garrett's and coming towards you. That's <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That thing. Jeez. That beard has a full, full on <laughs> tribe in it. Yeah, it does. He actually told us that there's Nigerian baby arms in it, I believe. Wow. Told which what? which I, I'm not sure where he's going with that. But um, this next one's from Go for Gold 88, and this is a really obvious answer. So, I'll, I mean, which KB Mod member is most likely to start a Toontown Let's Play first? <laughs> this is an obvious answer. He's not on the podcast right now, but this is yeah. really the obvious. Jenkins? Yeah, Black Light yeah, Pack, dude. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, I mean that guy plays everything. I played yeah. Toontown when I was like ten, and I was I was ten, and I thought that shit was retarded. <laughs> it was like the worst thing. Did you throw your controller down? This shit is retarded. No, it's a computer it's game dead. though. You don't, yeah, oh, is you it? Can't play with a controller, you noob. <laughs> wow, dude. Yeah, you can. Well, I'm sure you can. Shit is is Toontown still a thing though? Boom. I'm looking this up. <laughs> oh God, it's a thing. <laughs> It's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Closes the web browser as fast as he can. Just uninstalled. At, at Mr. Wicked Rhyme asks, this guy made it twice. Wow, what a oh. legend. Well, this one's a very, I don't know. I have a. I already have an answers. answer, but I shouldn't say my answer. If your pubic hair could look like any historical figure's face, what would it Hitler. be? Hitler. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, I... When you said you shouldn't say it, maybe you should have said it. <laughs> I want to know his reasoning. I don't think he has any reasoning other than he wanted to say Hitler. I just want to say Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I was going to go with Mr. T, but um, that's not that bad. was my choice. I like how Mr. T is considered a historical figure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, B.A. Barack has saved so many people, dude. Come on. <laughs> go with, I gotta, uh, gotta go Abe Lincoln. Abe Lincoln's the... You putting a top hat on? Have a beard. <laughs> yeah. How would Einstein's mustache? Hmm. Probably. <laughs> a solid choice. What about Wilford Brimley? <laughs> <laughs> no! That's a horrible answer! And he's not a historical <laughs> figure. He's, isn't he still alive? <laughs> Is he? I don't want to sit down and think of diabetes testing supplies dead. pretty medical all the time. <laughs> I'm, it's a toss-up right now for me between uh, Tom Selleck and Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Mine's, re- mine's really obvious. I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. Shirley Temple. God, I love oh it. <laughs> Uh, that's very popular on that road, then I go uh, a six year old Dakota fan. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Stop. Oh. Oh. Hey, I didn't say what age Shirley Temple. I'm just saying in general, Shirley Temple was <laughs> pretty life. specific. I, if you think like, about Shirley <laughs> Temple, what age do you, do you normally go to? I don't know, dude. I don't know what age. 45 year old Shirley Temple. What a great lady. <laughs> 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 Ooh, some good, some good suggestions to the stream. Yeah. Morgan Freeman is a oh, solid one, yeah. and Gaben. Gaben. <laughs> a historical one. figure doesn't that mean they have to be dead? <laughs> I, I, say, I, wanna, I wanna visit your history teachers where yeah, these are historical guys, figures these are like, exist in our time period. Like, I guess they <laughs> technically are historical figures, but they're not dead yet. A lot of them. What about, what about you? What about you? If it had to look like someone, Adam. What? If it had to look like someone, Adam. Who so this is this is whose whose hair? My hair? Your pubes. Yes. Your, your uh, hair. Pubes. Who would you want? I know. I know that this is. 
<laughs> okay, you know like Ghostbusters when he says clear your mind and the first thing you think about is not what you should think about? <laughs> I thought about Shamu. <laughs> that was that was <laughs> I literally I went to Shamu. I don't know why, but my brain just went straight to Shamu. And there's your no, answer. No, you want that. You want that. Because every time you pull your dick out, you go, free Willy! <laughs> <laughs> Nick goes you, for the you most you awesome. Awesome. <laughs> There it is. It's not Shamu. I don't even think about it. Does Miss Frizzle count as a famous person? <laughs> <laughs> historical figure <laughs> the entire cast of magic school yeah the even the bus i want i want every i want every single person and no, it's, no you have the bus and outside the window is each person like with their head out the window <laughs> the iguana too i want the iguana well, too creative do you think your, your these renderings are going to be when they're <laughs> you have a hell of a barber yeah, or whatever that on? would be called. It's going to be etched in there like an oil painting. There's probably a large market for pubic barbers. <laughs> I, I know there's I'm an a thing called jasping for vaginas, but yeah. I don't know. You can practice on me, John. I'll be your, your, I'll be your canvas. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. This wow! Now to a question that yeah. is completely normal. So just yeah. vanilla. <laughs> At to me, Zed. To me, Zed. What is your weapon of choice in Counter Strike? Silenced M4 and 1.6. Done. R.I.P. Silencer. R.I.P. Yeah, seriously. God damn it. No silence. I'm actually going to go with uh, Silenced M4 from Source. I will go. Although Big Daddy. The big daddy's too. Uh, MP7 <laughs> silence rapid fire running Ninja Pro and Shuffer Gunner. <laughs> <Cut. laughs> right. Uh, I would go. I would go AK AK47 and any of the any of the Counter Strikes. I'm a fan. I might go Galil and go though. The AK47 thing. will allow you to almost make it to the invite leagues, but never quite crack the surface after 15 years. So yeah, yeah. If you want to be a never was, you use the AK47. <laughs> never was. <laughs> John manages to poop. I knew. I, anytime there's a Counter Strike question, it, it always happens. It always happens. I got to go what with the Deagle right. from uh, Source mm. or 1.6, but not Go. The obvious answer would be Deagle for me, too, but no. I got Nothing, nothing more satisfying than a 1 Dig. Yeah. GG 1 Dig. So, this next one from a Twitter name that when I was writing it, I, I didn't know what was happening. So, uh, this is from Mike's Still YDGN. Mike's Mike Stilly DGN. Mike Stilly uh, GDN. Okay. <laughs> Repeating what Ben just did. How do you know it's not Mike's Still Diggin'? Mike's Still Diggin'. Mike's what if it's st- Mick S. Tilly? Mike, what, you, what you doing, Mike? I'm still digging. <laughs> 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 Um, <laughs> if you could be known for creating one video game series, which would it be? Hmm. What about you, Adam? One series? Oh, wow. Best, yeah. um, best gaming series well, of all time. People probably... Miyamoto would probably be the best choice, because like, Mario or Zelda, like that's... Regardless that's of what you like, I mean, that's, that's the way yeah. to go. It's not a bad choice. It's not a bad choice. Scott would, of course, have created the Counter-Strike Absolutely. Mod. I would be... Um, <laughs> Lee and uh, God, what's his first name? Hold on, the original well, creator. You're a real enthusiast. I dude. should know that. I just I interviewed. God damn it. Anyway, yes, I would have created Counter Strike. Deus deep. Ex. Oh, do you love your Deus Ex? I would go with uh, Half Life. <laughs> Pokemon <Why not>? Snap. <laughs> <laughs> just that game, not the whole series. <laughs> just that game. It's a series, dude. There's speculation of a new one coming out. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> what about you? Well, no, Alex. I'm not even going to ask him. I know what that answer is, too. Obviously, he wants to be Ken Levine. We all know he that. He literally wants to be him. Inside him, yeah. mostly. Um, <laughs> what about you, Brandon? Uh, I'm trying to think. I think I would go with I would go with the Wolfenstein series. You, get, you got Wolfenstein 3D, Return to Castle Wolfenstein, and Enemy <laughs> Territory. 
Ooh, in Enemy Territory Quake Wars, fantastic fucking game. That's true, yeah. I guess you, you would want to go out on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and then, in, in a, sideways, you would have made Brink, too, in a way. Wow. Was, How do you feel, like, Brandon? How do you feel about Brink? <laughs> you know, not for that one? Right they didn't say the developer. They said responsible for a series or a franchise. So mm, I took true. the question literally at face value. I think John is the only one. Actually, I don't even know if this next question, but at Zila D asks, do any of you own 120 hertz monitors and do you think they are worth it? No. I don't know. No, own. done. See, Orb swears by it. No, so, they're not. What's your opinion, John? No, listen, they're not worth it unless you just have extra money to spend. Sure, uh, I'm they're... pretty sure Orb has one and he uses Ninja Pro. So <laughs> think about Ninja? that. <laughs> Ninja Pro with Shepard Gunner. They are super expensive though 120 hertz they're not they're not worth it instead of getting a 120 hertz monitor just get two 60 hertz monitors done <laughs> it adds up right dude yeah together um, it's 120 hertz so <laughs> <laughs> so there you go don't waste your money uh the zechi asks a relevant question mm, yes. adam here too uh mods are very popular in youtube right now how do you think that will affect how important mod support is in games um I don't think it'll matter for the really, really big titles. They just don't care. But no, but a lot of yeah. indie, like a lot of the bigger guys, like the bigger companies, the bigger franchises, they don't really give a shit what happens on YouTube. But a lot of these, uh, a lot of like the indie games and on the smaller developers, they're going to see that this is another potential outlet for free marketing. Yeah, and they're going to jump all over the opportunity. Like they don't have to. You don't have to open up your game wide open. You just have to like just little things. Let people it's create called, their own maps. The let people. Effect. Yeah, let people let people adjust the way the game plays. They don't. You don't have to let people completely rework the game to be su- to be su- you know to have successful mods. Look at Skyrim. Little shit. Yep. Little shit that you allow people to do in your games that can drastically change the way the game plays. And if that if that turns out being popular on YouTube, that's the best marketing you can have because that is being marketed to gamers. That's not being marketed to the masses. That's just that's straight free marketing to the gamer demographic that you're looking for that a lot of companies struggle to figure out a way to do. Like the hardest part about marketing a game is figuring out how to target that specific demographic you're trying to target. Yep. I'm doing So yeah, I think <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> you made the words Thanks. and I agree with them. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the words they came out of you. Um but like yeah, like how many people bought uh how many people bought Arma because yeah. of Day Z. So, I bought it for Arma. I'm telling you, <laughs> I like, it killing, it. going into a serious armor game and team killing your team is more fun than Daisy. I, I, I want to do that. God. I swear to God. <laughs> the physics are obnoxious. You spawn in and you shoot a rocket launcher at the ground and they literally fly five miles. They shoot straight up in the air and they fly. And it's like <laughs> I think it's a minutes. realistic simulator. It's ten minutes before they can spawn again in some of the maps so you know they're having a bad time. <laughs> this is John's entire gaming life. And John's really happy uh, about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. About what? So, yeah, it's 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 pretty important for for the smaller games. Not so much for like Black Ops Two, for instance. <laughs> um, oh, question! What what is C Nanner's favorite mod? The chat asks. There you go. That's a good question. Mm, well, it always changes though. That's the thing because like I thought Daisy was my favorite mod, and then I got Trouble in Terrorist Town. Like that's my favorite mod, and then. I play the hidden. I'm like, oh, that's amazing. Like, I think it's kind of <laughs> that hard. That is the best mod ever. Yeah, go with what mod have you put the hard. most time into? Uh, probably DayZ, but that's... I mean, like now that I play Trouble in Terrorist Town, the problem with, with, with mods like Trouble in Terrorist Town and Hidden, it depends on... Your experience is is decided upon who your party is. Like, if you have a bunch yeah. of guys who are having a mm-hmm. great time, it's amazing, but if you have somebody come in and play Trouble in Terrorist Town that's, like, super serious or something, you'd be like, dude, that's not how you play this game. Like, you have to, like, give each other shit. Like, that's how it works. Um, and, and I think that it's hard because I don't think that... Because I know that, that for Crisis 3, they're having the Hidden... Um, in one of their, I don't know what they're calling it. They'll probably be like, you know, the cloaked or something. I don't know what they'll mm. call it. But um, <laughs> yeah, the the idea that um, it, it's kind of subjective because my Turbo Terrace Town experience is drastically different than somebody else's. Um, but I mean, pretty much anything it's Counter-Strike, to be honest. Like anything I've played with Gary's Mod and Counter-Strike has been like the best. And we continue to just play random stuff and even even jailbreak i mean like that's i mean it's if 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 hutch and i were playing together it would be amazing because if he was an inmate i'd be like suck your toes 
suck your toes or you're dead. <laughs> like, I would give him so much crap. And like, get and I would, my horses I, in the background? Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, goodbye. <laughs> I'd be like, I'd be putting on chapstick. I'd be like, uh-huh. <laughs> you know, like, it, like it's, it's, uh, it's definitely. Would you suck my toes? I'd suck my toes. <laughs> I'd suck my toes hard. Cap- yeah. Like it's a, <laughs> but you can't, you can't beat, like, uh, there's the experiences are like one of kind, like, like, especially Trouble in Terrorist Town. Like, I've not had, like, I've, I remember the first night I played that following day, I had a headache. I'm like, why, why do I have such a bad? I was like, oh, because I was laughing hysterically for like three hours. Like, it, it, it does a number on you. Um, but it, the, the best experience, I'd say Trouble in Terrorist Town. But, I mean, with Hidden and Daisy, it's kind of hard. But, I mean, like, in general, like, that game is hilarious. Like, well, that mod's hilarious. Like, you can't beat, like, just crapping on, on, on your friend's trust. It's just, like, it's so money. Like, they, the, the reveal <laughs> is amazing every time. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm. Yeah, for us, that, I mean, the Hidden was kind of the same experience for us. Yeah. We, those couple of magical nights. But, yeah, when, when it worked real well. And, uh... That we have those videos up, Scott, of just uh, what's his name, Wolf. Oh, freaking or, out from the hidden. Just absolutely, yeah. he thought he was going to die in real life. I think like <laughs> he did. the hidden was after him, man. Later, we found and, out he was on several kinds of <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. But uh, yeah, I love the hidden. It's one of my favorites. Seriously, some game studio just take the idea completely. Please. Just rip it Sell off it and fifteen dollars. Yeah, really yeah, yeah. yeah, add kill streaks <laughs> and zombies. Yeah. Kill streaks. Oh. Well, you don't even have to do that if you have if you have a first person shooter. Just make it a game type. That's what I was I was I was talking to well, Crisis. Uh, yeah, Crisis has. I was talking three. to Jared today. I was like, why don't you just take all the popular stuff that appears on YouTube that only takes like a week to craft, put some of your yeah. team on it, have a have a custom. The problem with the hidden is there's like there was what. Four servers like before we started uploading videos now there's probably like 10 like the demand for it is very high and it's like right. people will, will jump on your game seeing it play like not even knowing what blacklight is i'm like dude well people will jump on your game they'll play your game and then maybe after they've played the, the hidden whatever it is they say oh what else is there oh there's a core you know hardcore element to this we're gonna play deathmatch and whatever like you can bring yeah. like don't even don't even try to like rename it just call it the hidden this is really cool so we made it in our game because we're not full of ourselves like that's that should be yeah. like a normal practice because i think th- the problem is a lot of people just get uppity like they feel like oh no 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 this is a, this is our experience and it's going to be drastically different than everyone else's and we're not the other developers it's like just be okay with the fact that like a good idea is a good idea it's like like even look at minecraft i mean minecraft didn't just come out of nowhere i mean it infominer like you know it's like it's 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 mm-hmm. iterations like things build upon each other and it's like if you can give us that same experience in an engine that runs flawlessly, like, why be bashful about that? Like, just make it a possibility. So. Yeah. Yeah. I want the hidden. Yeah, and that, well, actually, bring a black light and the hidden, you could, that would be so easy. They already got, already, they already got invisibility. Yeah. There's already invisibility. If they added There's all those game types, it would just become, like, a YouTuber's hub for yeah. everything. Like, yeah, it would be perfect. <laughs> like, I would go and play yeah. nothing but that game. If, if I didn't have to go... Like and find some zip file and make sure that you know I, I install it correctly and, and all these things. Like if I had one place I had to go and it, everything was there, like why not? Like I don't know what they're gonna do for the new Gary's mod that's gonna be released. I don't know this month. Like I don't know how that's integrated, but if they could do something similar to that or just make it easy for us to play what we want to play, like it just seems like a no brainer. And it's not like it's you don't have to spend two years making a game. You just change. Elements, it's like Blacklight already has invisibility. Like, just put a knife yeah. in his hand and, you know, spawn people in a certain, you know, just, it Can makes I sense. Can I interrupt? Uh, no, Bob but- in the chat, he brings up a good question. Do you use your own voice pack on Blacklight? <laughs> I did it once and it was terrifying. It was terrifying. <laughs> I used it when it was, like, really new. So, like, it was seriously like that Gary Vault in Fallout 3 where it's like, Gary! Gary! <laughs> Gary! Gary! I- I'm reloading! <laughs> and then, like, I hear like, five Gary. versions of that. Oh, grenade! And I'm yeah. like, Jesus Christ, I need to stop playing this. Oh, this cool. That's funny, Bob. Would it, follow-up question. Would anyone use a Nick Fenton voice pack? That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see in the chat. I, Let's see. I'd use my own voice pack. Ooh. I know you would. I think the chat. Yes, I would use <clears throat> everyone. Everyone say yes so I can get a voice pack. Well, we tried to get your boy Bang's voice pack. <laughs> oh, and my I can't God. I would, hey, uh, Gil? I would hey, Gil? Hey, Gil, you want more bullets in your gun, Gil? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Your boy Bangs. God, he's he petitioned the Jared. He, he didn't pay attention. I don't think he knows who Bangs is. I don't think he understands. <laughs> but, all right. We're getting down to the last few questions here. At Malblood asks, what is your favorite comic book? Does Watchmen uh, John get Constantine comic book? Hellblazer, I think, probably would be. Yeah, it does. Yeah, if Watchmen counts. Yeah, it's Watchmen then. When, uh, I, when I actually collected comics in the mid 90s there, I liked the Nerd. Batman. <laughs> and stuff was awesome. When the actual Bane stuff happened in the comics was amazing. My favorite comics are. Uh, Unnamed fanfic artwork of unnamed YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <yeah. laughs> oh, there is some gold. God, one day, one day, that will. I may or may not see. Those are my it. favorite comics. I totally agree. I'm looking this at totally right now, especially when it involves a YouTuber doing acts with another YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> YouTube yeah. fan fiction. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> God, I could hook you up, bro. I could hook you up. I will. Ooh, stuff I saw last Nanner's, night. Nanner's camera turns off. The first yeah, one that came up is uh, YouTube Chapter One: The Banana Mishap. <laughs> oh, <no>. oh boy! <laughs> okay. I don't know. I probably no. should. I wrote my own fan uh, fiction with Nick. What? <laughs> I just write my own fan fiction. Like it's all me. Like I'm a fan, but I also have sex with Nick in it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Those two activities happen. I am a fan of Nick. And then we. <laughs> so, next question is from the unoriginal <laughs> me. And I can't believe we haven't had this question before. Why don't you look at me when we are making love anymore? Because <laughs> <laughs> you can't make eye contact through a bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> because you have no I... eyes, you're a fleshlight. <laughs> 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 what if you just what if you just glued on like those googly those plastic oh, googly <laughs> eyes? Oh god. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I could go through with that. <laughs> so when you move it the eye, the pupils are just like Ooh. If you can go through with doing it with a flashlight in the first place, I'm sure you could do the googly eyes too. <laughs> oh that is sick. <laughs> it's a oh, it's, wow. That's good. Googly eyes. Oh good. my goodness. Good. Wow. Well. Wow. <laughs> All right. At night, I ninety three asks. I want to get into PC gaming, but I can only get a hold of a low end PC for now. What are some good games for my shitty PC? Counter Strike. Source everything. Download anything free to play and see if you can you can run it. Yeah. League of like Legends is good. Or League, of, League of Legends, Counter Strike, Source one point six, TF two. If you use an TF2. FPS config, if you don't yeah. if you don't run an FPS config, Crafts. TF two is actually really Crafts. harsh now. Mm. Um, Minecraft. Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft. Play Left 4 Dead. That's good. Yeah, Left 4 yeah. Dead will work. Any anything on the original Source engine, Left 4 Dead's Portal. Yeah, even yeah. Portal Two, you can scale back pretty well. Modern. Torchlight One and Two, Modern Warfare Three, Diablo Three, you can Black down Ops. pretty significantly. Black Ops is pretty well performing on low end PCs. Yep. <laughs> so, Call of Duty uh, like Four, Call of Duty like, Two, um, like, like Bastion, Plants vs Zombies. There's a lot of good, you know, yeah. good options out there. There's tons, and they're all cheap too. So. There you go. Oh, Maple oh. Story, obviously. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> so, two questions left. Uh, no, well, we're skipping that one. We already answered that, yeah. essentially. Uh, last one. <laughs> A food question for CNN's closeout. Okay. Uh, at Pat's Fan 9278 says, What is your favorite kind of dip? Dip? <laughs> Queso, dip. spinach, artichoke, <laughs> artichoke, buffalo chicken. Buffalo Any, chicken? Anything that, anything that has uh, cilantro. Cilantro is like the best thing ever. I don't mm-hmm. think I can ever get bored of cilantro. If you just put it in something that doesn't belong, like if you if you combine things and it just <laughs> has no place, like I don't even care. I'm like, oh, cilantro. It's the best dish I've ever had. So, cilantro. Anything. I would go with, uh, with like homemade salsa. Mm-hmm. There's this uh, there's this place we went in Seattle. Uh, I'm gonna right go with Skull left. Straight, really dog. <laughs> <laughs> Copenhagen. <laughs> Copenhagen. <laughs> that is a delicious long, long cut, cut, dude. Long cut. You like, I love you like dip, boy. Copenhagen dip. long cut. <laughs> dude, Copenhagen. Do you even dip? Do you even dip? <laughs> Do you even dip? <laughs> Do you even dip? <laughs> 
Gamma Labs dip. That's my favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite dip is actually the cherry uh, dipsticks. They're fucking fantastic. Those are great, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> Salsa con queso is my serious answer. Mm. All right, bros. Oh, sure. That is uh, it for the podcast proper. And Wait, my I'll favorite dip is fun dip. Okay. <laughs> Good, solid choice, solid choice. So that's it. Uh, big thanks to to Adam, aka yes, C Nanners, so. for coming on tonight. Yep, yep. Even mid dinner. Yes, and uh, but one last thing before we go, Mark, don't cut this off. Yeah, I said that mid cast, so he doesn't cut off the end. Uh, so next weekend, this is a few extra life announcements. We're getting close. We're getting really close. Uh, next weekend, uh, Utorak. Uh, Moving Target, Munch Gamer, and the Andrew have their 24-hour stream for the KB Mod team uh, on, I think it's on Moving Target's Twitch channel. I don't have the link right in front of me. We put it on Facebook a couple days ago. I meant Munch on Friday night, by the way. Nice bro. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, random. Definitely, definitely check them out. Donate to them <laughs> as well. Yeah. Uh, the KB Mod team is already at $2,200 or something like that. Yeah. We're catching up with D4 and uh, a couple other teams. They are going for 24 hours straight, of course. Um, as far as us, we are doing it on the weekend. Extra Life happens October 19th into the 20th and perhaps longer, depending on how much energy we have. But the goal this year is 50 grand. So yeah. please get friends and family to donate, get everybody to donate. We, have, we will be linking all the time. Chez just linked it in chat. Um, yeah, Bob's 2500K is up for, up for uh, a prize this year, so you can win a CPU. Um, we're going to have a lot of other stuff. We have a, a hat signed by the entire Hawken development team. We have uh, a few more Hawken hats. We have lots of codes and other swag to give away. Got some um, AMD CPUs. Yep, some AMD APUs to give away. APUs, yeah. Uh, I might give out some googly-eyed flashlights. <laughs> yes, you have flashlights to give out. Um, now, there's there's a chance, Cute. don't quote this because we got to talk about it but there's a chance there's going to be a 660 ti <laughs> up for uh, so um we will keep you updated on that but october 19th into the 20th and there may also be another couple streams that we'll need to let you know on from uh a certain eat my addiction and some other people so we will let you guys know so october 19th and 20th and next weekend for uh, Andrew and Utorak and Move Target, those guys are hysterical too, uh, especially when they're not on any sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so go check them out on Twitch and donate. Yes. And uh, we'll see you on the 20th of that. Next week for the podcast, I'm sorry, I have so much to pimp here at the end. Uh, <laughs> next week on the podcast, Hawk and Developers coming out. Chance for you guys to win Alpha Access. Uh, this isn't going to be a very... It's, they're going to have a lot of people in Alpha, but it's not going to be that easy to just get a key. So, uh, yeah, tune in next week for that, and we'll be interviewing them and talking about the Alpha. And, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you very much for coming out. Judy. Thanks to Adam. And uh, we will see you on episode 60 next yes. week. Yes, number six zero.